welcome. <laughs> okay, so you guys know if you've watched any of my other videos before that I am a big fan of hair volume. So I know my hair is looking super sweet right now, but I'm going to show you how to get good volume. I've done quite a few other videos on volume and um, most of them contain back combing of some type, but I'm going to show you today. I know there's a lot of people out there who can't stand back combing. Like it just, you know, some of us who have fine hair, we're okay with it because it gives us the volume we want and we don't even care about anything else. But for those of you who don't like that feeling of that back combing at your roots, I'm going to show you a technique that I actually used to use years and years and years ago and then as a hairdresser and then I kind of quit because then this sleek straight hair came out and volume wasn't so big. So I did, you know, not a lot of volume then, but I feel like it's back and bigger than ever. <laughs> so I am going to show you how to use these awesome Velcro rollers. It's funny because my mom's been using these, my mom um, has been using these for years and years and she swears they give her the best volume ever without having to do so much work and then you don't have um, you know sticky roots either so here's what you're gonna do first of all I just blow dried my hair with my flat br brush technique that I have in another video so if you want to check that out you can go there um, but then we'll go ahead and get started so I've blow dried. Now I part my hair typically on this side over here or in the middle. So as my hair's drying or I'm doing other things, I usually part it off to the side just so that it gives it the most volume when I then flip it over. So for today, okay, so these rollers that I'm going to be using, these are like the jumbo size Velcro rollers. The only, and then the other tool that you'll have is a duckbill clip. I can link both of these products in the description below. And then I have a white dress fine tooth comb. Those are the tools that we're gonna be using for today. As far as products goes, I'm gonna use this Aveda Air Control Hairspray and this Aveda Pure Abundance Potion. And I am also gonna be using this Kenra Dry Shampoo. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you also know that one of the best ways to use dry shampoo is actually the very first day that you wash your hair. So instead of spraying it in there when the hair has already gotten some oil to it, you're gonna spray it in there before and then that way it helps absorb any oil as the hair starts to produce, produce oils. So use dry shampoo the very first day. I swear it is game changer. So try it out. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the section. So depending on where you're gonna part your hair, let's say, let's say I'm gonna go for a side part today. We're gonna do a side part. So I am going to part my hair where I would part it if I was gonna do a side part. So wherever that may be for you. I'm gonna take mine a little bit further. Okay, so we have it parted. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this front section. So we're gonna be working kind of from the front to the back. I'm gonna take this section right here, and we're gonna part, just kind of part it with your comb. So you're just gonna take it straight across, you're gonna part it with your comb, and then I'm gonna hold all that hair up right here. Okay, so now let's remember, I part on this side, so all the hair is gonna lay this way, right? So what I actually wanna do is kinda of direct the hair as much as I can this direction and up, cause I want that lift. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take my flat iron and I'm going to quickly just get some heat to it. So I'm not necessarily, more than anything, I'm just trying to get it nice and warm. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Velcro roller and I'm gonna just, and there's all my little bangs that fall out and that's okay, I'm gonna come back and get those. Whoa, we'll get those after the rollers have sat for a minute, okay? So you're just gonna roll that up. So you can see, we've got all this lift right here in the front. That's gonna give us all this lift here. Okay, now we're gonna take the next section and this one, you, these sections are gonna be about an inch to an inch and a half deep, okay? And they're gonna be about as wide as, make sure you can see here, 
make sure as the Velcro roller. So about as wide as the Velcro roller, okay? So we're gonna hold that hair up. Now this one, I'm gonna spray it with the Aveda Air Control Hairspray just right at the root. And then we're gonna get that hair hot with the flat iron again. So just nice and warm there. Take in my roller and we're gonna roll it all the way to the ends and then roll it down. Okay, so these two are going forward. Now the reason for that is I do, because I'm wearing such a side part here, I like all this hair to kind of come forward this way. So these two, I'm rolling them up and forward. Now this next one, I'm gonna roll it backward, okay? So we're gonna take the next section, holding that hair kind of the same, about an inch and a half to two inches deep, hold that hair straight up, so you're gonna hold it straight up. So I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see that. So you're gonna almost kind of pull it a little bit forward here when you roll it so that it creates lift at this base. So I'm gonna spray and then I'm gonna apply my heat to get it nice and warm. And while it's still warm, we're gonna pull, pull it forward and roll it. Okay, now, now if these two are staying just fine on their own, but this one, I'm gonna use one of these little clips to hold it in. So when I put this in, I'm gonna put the rounded part at the against the curler and the flat part inside the curler and that'll just secure it right in there so that it stays. And then we'll do another one down the back of the head. Now this, you can absolutely do this same technique with your hair. Um, if it's longer. In fact, when I used to do this all the time, my hair was longer. Okay, so I'm getting hot. The hair's still warm. Holding the hair up. I'm rolling it. And I'm gonna secure it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the sides. So with these sides, you wanna make sure that when you put the sides in, you are holding the hair straight up from the head, okay? Let me squat back down so you can see that. So hold the hair straight up so when you're rolling it, you're not rolling it down here and rolling it up. You're gonna hold the hair straight up and then roll it that way. But first and foremost, we're gonna spray. And then we're going to heat. Pull it up. And roll it. Just like so. And then I'm gonna do this other side. Same thing. So, now that we got those in, you can see those. Looks pretty sweet. Dun, dun. <laughs> right? Okay, now, you're gonna let these sit. So, for me, you could, if you wanted to, roll your sides up too. If you wanted extra volume through your sides and all, you could absolutely roll your whole head. I am not going to just because I feel like down here I don't really need as much volume and I actually kind of like my sides to not be as poofy. So these I like to, these little sides right here in the front, I like to just do with my flat iron. So I'm gonna take those with my flat iron and just kind of smooth those out, starting at the top and just smoothing it down. So kind of like in my big straight hair tutorials, you take that flat iron starting right at the root and then you just slowly work your way down. So when, you're, when you clamp the hair, you put it in, in there, in, put the hair, put the hair in the flat iron. <laughs> and then instead of just pulling it straight down, which most of us make that mistake doing, you're gonna put the hair in and you're gonna slightly kind of round it out. And then when you get to the ends, you're just gonna pull it out pretty quick. Cause really those, I don't really want those straight, nor do I want them curled. I just want them kind of like a nice soft bevel in. So, and then these pieces under here, I'm just gonna take and flat iron them. 
due to where my hair sits on my shoulders. That is why I just kind of slightly bevel those ends out without, I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, flip them out. I just kind of let them roll off my shoulder. So if you have longer hair, you could just go through even with your big curling iron and kind of slightly curl these or you can flat iron them or you can whatever kind of suits your fancy you can do. So we got them all in and then you let them sit. So a lot of the times I let these sit while I am doing my makeup or I go get dressed or I go make my kids lunches or whatever it is, I go do some other things and I let them sit. If you don't have time to let them sit, that's totally fine too. You can just drop them out and or drop them and see what it looks like. So we will take them out. So now that they're all kind of cool, they've cooled off, I'm gonna take them out. So I just pull them out just like this. Okay, for this front one, because I have some little bangs here, I am gonna kind of flat iron these to smooth them out a little bit so that they're not all crazy. Okay, and then I'm gonna take just that little section right behind it, anywhere that I can see little fuzzies. Now remember, I'm parting my hair on this direction, so I'm actually taking these hairs and flat ironing them as if they were gonna be laying this way. So in the opposite direction of where they are actually gonna lay. And then once that's cooled enough, you can just take and use your fingers to kind of maneuver it wherever you like to. And then one of the last things that I like to put in my hair is the Pure Abundance Hair Potion. So this is by Aveda right here. The Aveda Pure Abundance Hair Potion, this is a powder. This actually swells the hair by um, 15 to 30%, making it more bulk, bulky and thicker. It also kind of gives a grip and a texture to the hair. And I cannot do my hair without it. It is the best, okay. So then, that's all there is to it. And you got some good volume with some Velcro rollers and minimal products, just like so. Okay, well, I hope you like this video. Hopefully you learned something from it and thank you for watching. <laughs>